All right, guys, welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat. I just got some more energy for you guys. And you know it's Monday. I got to drop that shit. All right. So I do want to say um, thank you for joining me, all of my subscribers. And please be res respectful in the comment section. If you are not respectful, you will be deleted from my channel. Okay. And um, leave all your hate energy with somebody who give a fuck because I don't. Okay. And um, here, I want to uh, go in this reading right here. This reading right here is um, a soulmate connection that you have been stripped and cleansed from, okay? And this could be your false twin flame, all right? A karmic energy that was a narcissist energy, all right? You're about to meet a yin-yang connection here, a perfect balance. Someone who is equally yoked, a ebb and flow energy. And this is embracing your differences, okay? Now, I have to say, some of you guys could have lost your twin flame to a passing, or you could have lost your twin flame to a jail sentence, okay? Or you could have lost your twin flame to karmic-ass energy, okay? So that's what happens here, and you was emaciated, all right, from this energy. This is freed, liberated. No more restrictions on your life because you are now stripped and cleansed by spirit, all right, to go on your journey that so many people try to block, all right, and as you see, this is a feminine energy that's going on her journey alone. This is the choice that you made and divine approved it, all right, you thought about it and you thought about it here, you're a thinking woman, all right, that 1111 energy, all right, and because of this choice you made, all right, you're going to have a victory. Two and eight is ten. You closed out a cycle of something that was not uh, harnessing or, you know, beneficial for you, okay? And now you're about to go into a cornucopia type of energy. Cornucopia is complete happiness and joy, okay? So um, let's get off into these energies and find out because Divine said this soulmate, you guys are meeting someone new. All right, so let's find out who this soulmate divine connection is. Who is this soulmate divine connection? But also uh, utilize your, your boundaries, okay? And notice any red flags. Everybody is not your soulmate connection. Some of us could be getting tested to see if we have set boundaries, okay? Holy Spirit, what is this soulmate connection? All right, they said it's a stable man who got their shit together. You see how this card jumped? The soulmate connection could be a stable person, man or female, who got their shit together. This is an equally balanced, yoke, give and take relationship. All right, what is this Holy Spirit? All right, so, because we could have been dealing with somebody with a bipolar disorder. Your twin flame could have had a bipolar disorder. All kind of, you know, issues here. Yes, very temperamental. So the energy I'm getting right here is there could be a narcissist twin flame or a karmic twin flame that's pissed off about you meeting somebody new. They pissed. This card jumped out. Somebody pissed. This is a narcissist who have bipolar energy. They go back and forth. They're not sure about what they want. Um, Non-committal type of energy. And now they pissed off that you could be meeting a stable person. That's your divine connection. Because you, you've you been stripped and cleansed from this person over here. This narcissist energy. All right? Yes. Somebody wants your forgiveness. Okay? You can forgive somebody, but you don't have to allow this person back in your life. Yes, this is just a cry for help. This is what they want, your forgiveness. Somebody wants to come back in and tell you all this shit because they, once again, trying to keep you stuck and trapped like they are, all right, in situations that's going nowhere, all right? And I told you guys, if you're in a relationship and you got all these dreams and goals and you with somebody who don't feel the same way, who wants to stay on the same page, you ain't doing nothing but fucking and having a good time, you're not really developing or going no place, what are you doing? You know? What are you doing? Are you settling? And that's what Divine is asking us. All right? Somebody could be planning an escape to get away from another situation. All right? And then just still gaslighting energy. Somebody's trying to gaslight somebody else to probably try to, try to connect with you because you got something new going on. You know, they trying to escape from somebody else because you got something new going on here. 
All right. So, you know, choose wisely here. Make the right decisions here. Yeah. They want a second chance with you after they bypassed you. Okay. Yeah. And received the wake up call right here. This is the wake up call that they got. That divine said they are stripped and cleansed out of your life here. And that's what the epiphany was. And now they stuck right here in the situation. Okay. And they had this epiphany. All right. This realization here about you moving on with your life with somebody who is more stable and balanced out for you. This is who divine want for you, sent for you. All right. Somebody you can connect with. All right. What else we need to know? Yeah. This person was not available. All right. They wasn't seeing what was going on here. They stayed in dark night of soul energy. All right. So who is this stable person? Holy spirit. All right. So whoever this is, they stay this person over here. They stay with somebody who is crazy or somebody who's going to be acting crazy because they're trying to gaslight them. They're trying to just disappear. All right. This is somebody's way of ending situations is just walking away and then going off to somebody else. And this is not the way divine want things done. And this person still has a uh, non-committal energy. OK, but yet they want to come and reconcile with you. And divine said this is only because they're insecure that you're going to meet someone and it's going to lead to something powerful, more powerful than what they were able to give you. OK. And now this person has become obsessed with you. People are always obsessed with shit they can't have. Okay? Hmm. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Any more messages about this person? Yes. They're a big ass liar. They lie about a lot of shit right here. Okay? Yes. And they still holding on to a toxic ass ex. So just be aware of this energy. They still holding on and then they get with you and make things right with you. And just like I was saying in a previous video, this could injure your future. This type of energy could injure your future because they're still involved with a toxic ex here. Okay. Yes. That's strictly sexual. This is what they holding on to. Somebody who let them run back and forth and just fuck. All right. This is what they're holding on to while they're trying to make some type of commitment to you. So please be aware of this energy. Yes, this is a prideful person that they're holding on to. And also divine want you to have some pride and respect for yourself. Okay, because somebody right here is playing with fire and you'll be playing with fire, injuring your future. If you go back into this situation mentally, physically, all right, and financially, you'll be injuring your future. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This person is not healthy and they want you to um, be selective, have patience, divine timing. They're trying to close off this cycle here. Yes. Somebody need to learn how to be alone. Somebody need to stop running from relationship, relationship, X to X to X. Keep going back and forth amongst people that they always had a past with. Just because you have a past with someone, just because you have a child with someone, doesn't mean that it's a person for you, okay? I was married for 20 fucking years, and I realized that me and my ex-husband didn't have anything else in common. So I moved on with my life. And yes, I have a son with him. But now we're just friends. Because if you're not happy, why settle? You know, life has so much more to offer so why would you be stuck with somebody who unmotivate you? You know, you don't see yourself going any further. Yes, we grew together, but we was at a stalemate. And it was nothing else, you know. Even the feelings wasn't the same. So I chose to move on with my life. You know, I paid for the fucking divorce. I moved on with my life because I started thinking I want more. And this person just keeping me stuck. And now I'm extremely happy. And no, you know, negative energy towards him. You know, we're still friends. But I moved on with my life. And even when we went to court, the judge said, this is the nicest divorce I've ever seen in my life. I didn't want anything. I just wanted to be free. I didn't go in there with no negative energy. And neither did he. We were two adults. And it was time to move on with our life. And that's what divine is saying here. Instead of people holding on to people just because I got a baby with you, just because I got a past with you. It's time to change your life and move forward. Everybody that comes into our life, a reason, a season, a blessing or a lesson. Okay. 
And that's what some of these motherfuckers is. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's time to cut ties to people that no longer serve your life, no longer beneficial in your life, no longer can help you grow. It's time to cut ties to people who keep you stuck. Okay. And that's what this is here. You know. Any more messages in this deck? Yes. Instead of staying in abusive situations here, there's a masculine that could be getting physically abused. All right. It could be vice versa. All right. Yes. And that's why divine freed you from this. Now, this person could have been physically abusing you, mentally abusing you, but you had to be freed from this situation. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. This was too risky. And somebody could be a gambler and a drinker as well. Okay? So that's what Divine is saying here. So let's talk about this new stable person that Divine could be sending. That's a Divine counterpart here for you. All right? Some of these people are um, they're going through a, a, a transformation here. All right? A rebirth type of energy here. And Divine wants you to wait. All right? Have patience. Just don't go out meeting anybody. Sharing your business, your love to. All right? Yeah. This new person that's coming in your life could have been through some situations similar to yours. They could have still some soul ties going on here. All right? They could have been stuck with low vibrational energies just like you was. All right? You both could be in the midst of clearing out this cycle here. All right? It's a boss. In this situation, it could be a business owner, a CEO, because this person has their shit together. King of Pentacles type of energy. Holy Spirit, tell us about this new stable person that's coming in our life, male or female. Take what resonates with you, all right? And leave the negative energy behind. I hear somebody saying, I ain't going to meet nobody new. I don't meet nobody new. God ain't sending me nobody new. Because that's your, that's your uh, beliefs. That's your belief system. Negativity, all right? That's your belief system. When you heal and you focus on yourself, divine surprise you. You shouldn't be sitting at home. When I'm going to meet this person, when they going to come? Have patience and focus on other things that's positive in your life. You know, I'm very creative. I like doing a lot of creative things. I like painting. You know, I like building. I like just creating beautiful things. So I'm not sitting around waiting for someone to pop up and save me. I saved myself and I'm very happy in my life. Okay. I love being single, but if divine send me the proper person who can meet me on the same page, then Hey, that's when you let your guard down a little bit. Okay. And let somebody in. Don't close out your heart is what divine's asking you. When you heal all of this, it's easy. You know, I'm not hateful. I'm not resentful. I have forgiven my past energy here. I have moved on. I'm not holding any resentments. I'm not doing evil eye. I'm not wishing the worst on anything. It's a learning lesson, you know, and that's how you heal and move on to better things. You let the past go. You let that energy go. You let that person go and move on with their life and their decisions. Because you know, maybe you too wasn't on the same page. Okay. So divine stripped and cleansed you from a twin flame <laughs> that wasn't good for you. This person was a runner chaser dynamic. They always triggered you. Okay. It was always intense. And this is a past life connection. So this twin flame energy here, they, it, they could be in the process of doing the same thing that you're going through here. Okay. So clarify the stable man, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. This could be a soulmate, all right? But they could also have been dealing with temptation as well. So just be mindful that some of this could be a test as well. Okay? And see some lust. This might be a fine motherfucker here. All right? This might be some vaccination that you, you know, sense. But divine is saying this could be a test is what I'm saying here before you actually meet your divine counterpart. So this, this man that might come in here and act like they so stable, this could be a test. Mm -hmm. So somebody wants to send you some gifts, all right? And this is love language here. You could be receiving gifts from the universe. And that's why this person could try to 
um, tempt you, make a pretty tempting offer, but it's still bullshit. All right. The next energy I got is um, gifts. Divine sin. If anybody try to send you gifts or money or anything, be careful of that because it could be some fraud. They could have bought it with some fake credit cards. They could have stolen some money. Something is illegal about this connection. And someone is trying to get you caught up. And by you accepting gifts from someone who has done this illegally can get you caught up in a situation. So just be aware of who you're accepting gifts from. Okay? Divine said, just accept my gift and leave these motherfuckers alone. Okay? Yeah. Somebody here is going to keep you waiting. So I feel like this person who act like they got their shit together they could be a, a a test and then before you meet this person all right holy spirit who is this stable person they gonna act like they stable okay but this person is unfaithful and that's what this is so this new person that you meet could be a test mm. yep this is a cheater they might not put as much effort in it after they bed you down. Somebody's mission could be to fuck you over still. This person might be sent from someone else. Acting like they got their shit together and spending money on you. That's actually probably your money. That's actually probably stolen. That's actually probably credit card fraud. Is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Divine wants you to come from your higher purpose. Your higher self. They want you to wake up. And that's what I feel like this soulmate divine connection is over here. So I feel like you might be tested before you meet the real thing. Yup. They said it's time to walk away. Okay. From dating. Unrequited love situations. All right. And this will be a mutual split here from this person. Because you're going to notice that maybe this person is not for you. And you're unwilling to settle for any more bullshit here. And divine wants you to keep dating. Keep getting to know people. Coming from your higher self. Don't let somebody easily tie you down. Soon as you meet them. Don't close the door. Don't let somebody think they got control over you. Alright. And that's where manipulation starts. Because relationships aren't about control. Alright. They're about an equal balance give and take. What is this energy? Yes, it's time to distance yourself from a lot of people that's not servicing you. Time to separate yourself. This definitely could be a test, all right? And yeah, this person just want to chill and they possibly want to keep you a secret. So don't get back off into that same energy here. This person got something else going on. They really acting like they're stable and they're just not, okay? Wait for this power couple energy over here. Higher purpose energy, okay? This is, yes, this is a boss bitch energy, a boss do energy, okay? Somebody who got their shit together, somebody who is very sincere in your conversations and their behavior towards you. Sincerity, that's what you need to look for here, all right? Instead of somebody who's always distracted by third parties, okay? Yeah, distracted by soul ties, codependent energy, okay? Find somebody who make you feel whole. Find somebody who is confident. Find somebody who is perfectly imperfect like you are. Divine wants you to know that, okay? Yeah, somebody who is on the same page. You guys might end up doing acts of services together, all right? And this is your higher purpose work. Somebody who's on the same page, who wants to give like you give, who have a heart like you heart, like you have. Okay, while somebody else always watching you and seeing what's going on with you, somebody always stalking and fantasizing and lurking you. Okay, you deserve more than this. Holy Spirit, clarify stripped and cleansed. This stripped and cleansed energy, all right, because you said no, and when you said no, you were stripped and cleansed of this person, and they were stripped and cleansed from your life. Okay, you ran away from this person. <laughs> and that's why you were stripped and cleansed. Some of you guys asked divine to move this person out of your life. And that's what they did. All right. Holy Spirit, what is this energy? Yes, because they were not ready for what you was ready for. They was just not ready. 
there was this energy right here, non-committal. And now somebody want to come back and reconcile with you, okay? Yeah, they want your physical touch here. This is what they want. It's your energy as well, okay? Anything else? Yes. Look at this shit. I told you. Divine said it's time to go on a solo journey until the perfect timing. Divine timing is here. It's time to be solo. All right? So you're going to be tested. So just be aware of that, okay? Mm. Yeah, because somebody's still a cheater. This new person you might meet, they might have a lot of the same characteristics as your twin flame that was released from your life. All right? Divine said go on a solo journey. When you meet somebody here, your divine, true divine connection, they're going to be on this solo journey together, on a solo journey as well, and you guys are going to connect like that. All right? So let's get off into this little this little energy right here because the vine says somebody right here is still non-committal, but they want to reconcile with you. And it's only because they feel trapped in another situation here. Okay. But they want to come to you. All right. To keep you trapped and stuck and prevent you from growing. So let's clarify this non-committal energy of a returning karmic masculine or someone new that you might meet. Okay. Holy Spirit, what is this? Thank you. Yep, it's no contact. So this non-committal person, I guess you're being asked to cut off the contact with this person. It's a wasted fucking energy, okay? This person could be a fire sign, all right? You could be a fire sign, but it's no contact here, okay? Just cut off the contact with this person. They're not trying to offer you shit. It's a wasted energy. All right. It could be an earth sign here. Okay. And yes, and they just want your healing. This is all they want right here is your healing energy. That's all they want to do. All right. They could be with an earth sign. And just they could be with two other people here. A fire sign and an earth sign. And that's why, you know, it's best to not contact this person. Yeah. They could be avoiding you. Because they're still in other situations. Somebody could have hurt their hand as well in a situation. What's this reconciliation, Holy Spirit? What's this reconciliation? Puppy love. That's all it is. This is just puppy love. They miss you. This is somebody who used to hold on to their exes. You could be an ex and they miss you. And that's all this is. is puppy love, temporary love, short-term love. Until the next piece of ass or next piece of whatever walk by. That's more tempting than you. So recognize this energy here. Okay. Anything else on this puppy love? This reconciliation, Holy Spirit. Yes. This person um, feels like you are marriage material. Somebody could possibly want to propose to you with a recycled ring. And that's exactly what I hear. Recycled. Okay. Yeah, they like your vibration. They like your high vibe and energy. This is what they like about you. They wish they would have proposed to you before, okay? But they was too stuck under love spells and deviant energy. Yes, they was too stuck in another relationship is what Divine is saying, okay? Yes, and they kept you waiting. While they was working on another relationship, they kept you waiting. So that didn't work out like they thought. They got trapped. They had a realization. And now they want to come back to you. Second choice or side piece. Okay. Clarify this trapped energy, Holy Spirit. What is this trapped energy? Because they are um, they don't know how to express their emotions. All right. They don't have any emotional intelligence here. They don't know how to express that. But wherever else they came from, it was acceptable. What's this energy here, Holy Spirit? Him. Yeah, him. He might be finer than a motherfucker, but he don't know how to express himself or his emotions or feelings. They don't know how to love properly because that's what they grew up on. Not knowing how to show love and give love and receive love. Okay? Yep, him. What else we need to know about him, Holy Spirit? All right? That he coming to you empty-handed. He don't have anything to offer you, okay? Yeah, but they love your unconditional love that you give to them, 
all right? This person is a cheater and they're very deceptive and they always wear a mask, all right? Yeah, towards her, towards you, all right? This is what they did to you, okay? And all he did was want to spend quality time with you in the sack, okay? What's this energy? Yes, but this is really a cold-hearted person, okay? They're really cold-hearted. So what is the realization that they came to, Holy Spirit? What is this realization, all right, that they need to distance themselves from someone, okay? What is the realization that they need to break this tie that they've been holding on to? As you see, this tie was never broke. You see, it's still a connection there. And they need to take and break this tie. This is someone who just took a break from whoever and went back to them. The tie was never completely broke off. Okay? Yes, this could be a water sign, a cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio who's coming to a realization about a situation here. Yeah, somebody tried to work something out, hoping that you compromise. It could be a biracial energy here. All right, Holy Spirit, what is this? Yeah, surprise. So somebody would like to surprise you, a possible water sign here. They want to compromise with you about a situation here. But divine is saying your boundaries are so strong. And this is somebody that you need to say no to. Okay? No to. Because they're still toxic and crazy. And they're still dealing with toxic and crazy ass energies. Okay? But this person could be having dreams about you. And you also could be having dreams that this person is still stuck in some toxic and crazy ass behavior. Okay? Yes. They find you very beautiful. They're very attracted to you. Okay? Yes. And your fucking energy. This is all they want from you. Okay? This is all they want, but they still stuck on the same fuck shit ass page. So just be aware of this energy. Yes. And look at that. They committed to somebody else already and still trying to come and utilize your energy here. All right. This person is nothing but a fucking ladies man, a damn player, this water sign in Pacific here. All right. And you can't trust this person. There's major trust issues. They're trying to hold on to you, hoping that you trust them again here. All right. And they still also holding on to a possible air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Yes. This person is highly distracted because they like to hustle in the fucking streets. Okay. Yes. And divine said, this person is not ready for anything or any type of commitment. This is why they're non-committal because they have addictions and they have obsessions. All right. And this person is a liar. Okay. So this is what I have for this video for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. And thank you so much. And also I'm going to be, um, having a black Friday spell, a sale, not a spell. <laughs> so somebody could be doing a spell on black Friday. Okay. But also I'm having a sale on black Friday and it's about my emotional healing products. Healing our hearts, our souls, healing our energy, and keeping us safe and protected. Okay? So I'll be getting back with you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate all the love, the super thanks, and my members. I have some new videos for you guys coming out today. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy your day and stay positive as possible. Bye-bye.